my name is Johannes Lundberg, Johannes Lundberg. Uh, I'm CEO and co-founder of 46 Elks, uh, and we're a small startup here in Uppsala. Basically what we do is phone calls and SMS for developers. If you're a developer, you might know what an API is. So basically we're an API on top of mobile networks. So sending text messages, receiving text messages, making automated phone calls, call recording, uh, phone number allocation, these kind of uh, things that you might want your applications to do. My background is I'm a, I'm a sort of a garage hacker. I uh, started coding when I was 12 with my older brother. We were sitting there uh, hacking and hacking. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and I didn't think about w working with computers back then, but then it sort of all came naturally. So uh, going through different places, uh, my previous work, uh, uh, I sat with my boss there and we, we had this sort of ID that uh, that was just too good to not do something about. So that's why we created 46 Hawks, basically. I currently work with a couple of things. Uh, uh, since since uh, we're a very small team, and there's a lot of stuff to be done here. So I'm doing, I'm doing recruitment, we're building a new website, we are doing customer support, it's, it's uh, finding new ways to be visible for our target group as well. So there's really, really a lot of stuff to be done at the same time. So the company started in 2011, we've been running for three years now. We released our uh, Alpha in, in June and then we've been having pain customers since November 2011. Uh, and we've been growing month by month ever since. The most important question for uh, an employee to be able to answer is why. Uh, so the culture I want to create here is where everybody knows why they are doing the stuff they're doing. So it's not just a direction from from the top saying this should be done but the but the best way for, for people to actually be creative and actually make good good results when they're working is when they know when they know why they're doing it when they can put it in perspective so that's the kind of uh, working environment we are creating here we're not looking for, for people who just sit there and do what they're being told we want people to be proactive we want people to actually like come with suggestions about what to do, how to change that, and how to make a better company. So we want we want employees who are very active into into the the way we're traveling with the company. I spent the whole uh, spring this year with financing, and that certainly kept me awake from time to time because it's when you're not when you don't know if you're going to be able to pay your checks or pay salaries to to yourself and your employees. That can be really tough. Uh, so that certainly kept me awake uh, during, the sp during the spring. But now, because when, when, we have financing sorted out now, uh, I've, I've actually found a very good balance. Because basically, when you're running a startup, the list of good things to do is so long that no matter how many tasks you accomplish during the day, there's always more tasks to be done that is good for your company. So you sort of, due to that nature, you just have to accept the fact that in order to work as a human being, you need to rest and you need to visit your family and friends. So just, you just have to sort of cut the list and say, say that the rest have to come tomorrow. Before 46 Elks, I worked with building customized telephony applications, all the way from carrier integration uh, to pricing to the end user. The problem with this is you need to do both telephony technology on one side, and on the other side you have to build this whole uh, purpose-specific application uh, and, and, and when you're building this purpose-specific application you have to understand the problem domain you're working in uh, which can be fairly complex like if you're doing something for the class cl for, for classified apps there's really no way to do that unless you understand that industry uh, and uh, we realized what if we don't build the, the, the sort of customized logic and then sort of the understand the uh, and understand the problem. What if we instead just build telephony technology, and we already f and we find problem? Uh, sorry, we find people who already own the problem, we, and we connect our our telephony technology with their domain expertise. That's when you can create uh, a lot more good products, basically.